iPhone 15 Pro. May it rest in peace. With a lot of heat, the Gorilla Armor screen glass separates from the display pretty easily. A tad surprised at that, honestly, you only have to fight these things. With the pixel components removed, it's easier to tell that the perfect and nicely looking frame really does fill up the vast majority of real estate inside the vehicle. The metal is covered with wheel markings. Then we have the gray plastic intermediary layer with the titanium plates on the outside and on the edge. And the plastic is what looks like it's holding everything together. We'll see what's really going on here in a second. Before we melt down the foam, let's see what grade of titanium Samsung is using. It turns out that right next door to my wheelchair factory here in Utah uh, is a company called MoxTech, which built the literal x-ray sources inside the Mars Perseverance rover. They conveniently also make... That's the grade 5 right there. Yep. These scanners are used a lot in metal recycling, and huge thanks to MoxTech for letting me borrow their scanner. Yeah. When that scanner is placed right up against the materials to get a reading, we see that the inner structure of the S24 Ultra is indeed 6061 aluminum. And the exterior frame of the S24 did say that the scraps from my titanium iPhone 15 Pro are grade 5. It's almost a grade 2 grade 1. So I think we can be pretty confident in the results. And hopefully next time, if we ask nicely, MoxTech will let me borrow the Mars rover by burning off the plastic and melting out the aluminum. The easiest way to separate the titanium from the aluminum is with a whole lot of fire. Aluminum melts at about 1200 degrees Fahrenheit. The plastic should burn away at a couple hundred degrees. And titanium, we can't melt that with our furnace. It only gets up to about 2000 degrees Fahrenheit. So it should, the shards of titanium should still be there when this is all over. It's interesting to see that as soon as the skeleton of the S24 Ultra meets the 2000 degree furnace, the plastic instantly combusts into flame. The bright orange fire is swirling around in a smartphone killing vortex, and within seconds, the plastic holding the titanium pieces to the rest of the phone melted away, flinging my lower titanium strip into my garage somewhere, and the rest of the phone falling like Gandalf and the Balrog. Fucking Demoria.